Now, I'll be honest, I did not expect another Chris Chan phone call to drop this quickly, but it has, and it's only about two and a half minutes long, so we're going to play it here and do it the classic way we always do. We're going to react to it as it goes along, and if you want to hear the actual phone call, it's in the link in the description below. Um, other than that, yesterday's video was pretty bad sound quality-wise, and I apologize for that, so this video, I tried to make as loud as possible, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's take a dive into the wacky world of Chris and what's going on in his life in jail. Hello, everybody on the internet. This is Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu, your Lord and Savior, Messiah, and God, and everything I have spoken in truth to you before recently. So unlike yesterday's call where Chris was brought a little bit down to reality to talk about actual problems he's facing in jail, this call just starts out batshit crazy like his letters do with the Jesus Chris Chan shit. And um, you know it's going to be another one of those calls, ladies and gentlemen. At present, my body is still within the jail, but during this time, I am looking to further expand my genuine, decent connection. So at this point, I am looking for active, genuine, kind followers from within the state of Virginia, preferably, preferably from within the Charlottesville and or Ruckersville areas or as close to the Sanchi Temple's location as possible. So just like yesterday with all the protest shit, Chris is clearly trying to like build an army here. He thinks that if he gets a large group of following of people that can like support him, but only if you're in Virginia, guys. If you're not from Virginia, fuck you. Um, so if you're in Virginia and you feel like Chris Chan's being, uh, he's being wrongfully accused of the things he's admitted to doing on these phone calls, uh, you know, you need to get out in the streets and protest. You gotta get your signs out, take them to the streets and say, Regional Virginia Jail, bloody unfair. And then they'll get the message. During this present time, you can reach out to me by sending a letter via U.S. Postal Mail to the Central Virginia Regional Jail. Now, what Chris is saying here is that he wants his uh, his supporters to write into the jail and try to get them to get them to let him out because Chris is in there for all the wrong reasons. Now, I've told you before, obviously, you all know better. Don't do this. And if you are a real follower of Chris, why would you do this? But to be fair, we're about to get into the real reason Chris is calling this guy now because would you really be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, for what he's about to talk about? And also, if you want to send any donations, I highly would feel fair if you send them Barbara via check, valid cashier check to Barbara at the temple. The address is obvious to know. But you can also send, preferably, and this is the quickest method without using the website, you can go to your local post office and have them send a postal money order to this address at Central Virginia Regional Jail and make sure the money order is made out to me by the name of Christine Weston Chandler. So unsurprisingly, we get some more e-begging coming from Chris for jail. And at first, you know, I, th I was actually ag in agreement with him. You know, if you want to give your money, which you shouldn't in any way, shape, or form to anyone involved with Chris's life, but if you wanted to give money, send it to Barbara. You know, Chris is thinking really like, you know, my mom needs it more than me. But then it just jumps right back to, well, actually, though, if you really want to send it, you got to send it here to the, to the, uh, to the jail, wherever it's at. Now, we've already gone into this before. The dude who's recording these calls and talking to Chris, he has no problem sending money to Chris. And um, I, I stress, I say this in every video, guys, don't send money to Chris or anyone involved with Chris. Keep that shit in your pocket. Buy like a quarter with it. Buy, go buy yourself some pizzas. Buy yourself a new video game. I don't care. Just don't fucking send it to Chris. It's, come on. Again, I am just very, very blessed and thankful for each and every one of you genuine and kind people amongst my amongst my followers. Keep faith because we are getting the collective shift done and we're getting the majority of good and neutrals to C197 Earth and we're leaving behind the toxic. And in classic Chris fashion, you can hear the either sassiness or smugness, I'm not sure the word, but in that little last statement he gives. And we're leaving behind the toxics. You can almost hear his head up in the air with a little grin on his face like, hmm, I got them. All these toxics are gone whenever my shit happens. And uh, it's just classic Chris. Being in a position where, you know, he has like, he's in no way to call out anybody else or do really anything. But he's just sitting there just reminding everybody that at the end of the day, this world is his. 
and uh and anybody who's talking bad about him you're fucked and um i just i i love the like i said the tone of voice he gives when he says that because you know in his head he's so confident that this is really gonna happen it's bullshit we are all in this together we're gonna survive and everything and i'm getting my body out of this jail very shortly from now but on that, I'm also asking for active protesters to just essentially let the local authorities and whatnot here know that they want me out of jail and back home safely. I am very much innocent on all charges. And again, here, Chris is very confident in saying, you know, my body will be out of this prison before you know it. But he has to mention that, you know, but it would help if you guys went in protests and said, you know, we want Christine out of there because she's completely innocent. And, um, you know, if, if Chris really believed he was innocent and he was God, you would just walk through those fucking bars. You know, just why would you need anybody to protest for you? But it goes back to a lot of the shit Chris says, because he'll say that, you know, he's omnipotent. He knows everything. But he could really use your help on getting an extra couple bucks because he's scrounging in jail. So, um, you know, it's just the, the classic Chris methods. And then for him to say, I'm innocent on all charges, when a lot of you have fucking watched my letter videos. A lot of you have read Chris's letters from jail. Um, and you know that Chris basically incriminates himself in all these and says that what he did was good and right. And when he gets back to the Sonichu Temple, that shit's happening again. So I don't, I don't know what he thinks about that one. and appreciation of me and everything. And also, please show kindness to Barbara as well. Thank you all, and have a great, safe, blessed day. Go forth with peace and clarity. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, that phone call had all the makings of a Chris letter, like, spoken. Because he started with the Jesus Christine shit, he ended with the go forth in peace and clarity. It was really like he was actually writing a letter to this guy over the phone. Now, as I said, if you listen to the calls yesterday, Chris was much more, like, just grounded in, like, what would you do if this was your mother? Talking about Barbara, asking about a wellness check, asking, like, they talked for fucking ten minutes about money orders and shit. Chris is talking to this guy about his son and everything and he seemed like he was just out of all this weird jesus shit but then you get to this call and it's like oh fuck it's, it's right back to the letter shit now what chris said to end that call is that you know please please people please go and be kind to barbara which is so ironic for him to say when after all the shit he's done so other than that i guess we can expect more of these chris Sham phone calls coming out because that dude zombo seems like he's been in contact with chris quite a lot lately and i'm happy to say these calls are better recorded and everything than the uh, than the false flagger kid was so you know on that note thank you zombo and other than that we didn't get too much like new info here on chris it's the standard shit you know it was just like i said reading a letter he's talking about a little bit of e-begging a little bit of jesus shit and then a little bit of the nonsensical bullshit like you know go protest for me and uh and all that so <laughs> I don't know what Chris's mindset is in jail now. I love how it's something new every week. Like, he's very confident that, you know, one of these days the merge is happening and I'm going to be out of here and all you trolls and haters and fakes, you're going to be screwed. But at the same time, he's, like, basically begging people, all right, please go out in the street and try to get me out of here. It's because Chris, it, I've talked about it before, it's the biggest coping mechanism he has. He thinks he's in control and he thinks that any day he can just snap his fingers and the merge will happen and he'll be out of there. But in reality, Chris still knows he still is aware enough to know that he's in a position that's not a good position and it's going to, you know, it's going to be hard to get out of it. So his hearing is in almost a couple weeks now, like two or three weeks. So we'll know more about it then. But until then, you know, that's the updates we have now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Before I end it, I want to give a shout out to Krabby, Sky, Holly, John, Bob, Tyler. You guys are fucking goats. And, um, and yeah. I just hope you guys, I hope you guys got a good laugh out of this one. Hopefully more laughs come along, my friends. And other than that, I just hope all y'all have a really good rest of your day. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.